Parental advisory explicit content. A spoken letter to sex. Now let me start this by saying that I utterly and totally respect you, sex, more than you know. Better part of my life I've spent trying to get to know you really well. I mean, I started at an early age, well before I really understood the ramifications. But I didn't care. I threw caution to the wind and said I embraced it because it feels good. I mean, great. It can feel awesome. You being it. It's kind of hard talking to an action, but hey, this conversation's long overdue. Now, we both know where I'm coming from. What I've been through in the last, hey, probably since December or November of last year. Hell, maybe as far back as July. Maybe when I first met her. But we're not going to cover her. That's an entirely different story. This is about you and me. I've known you since I was 12. Yeah. You know it. I've had some good times with you. Getting to know you, reading up on you, studying you. But at this point in my life, I'm at a bit of a crossroads. See, it's no longer about bragging points. It's no longer about notches on my belt. It's no longer about saying I could get with or share in the experience with just any old girl. No. I'm past that. You see, I want a force of nature. I want someone that wants to be with me, that wants to explore, truly explore one another in every way fathomable. Hopefully I pulled it off. In any which way you can fathom. See, that probably sounds a little bit better. Mind you, it's a spoken letter. I'm editing on the fly because this is just coming to me as I'm talking. Here's the thing. I could go on and on, continuing to share a relationship with you, with just any person, any woman that crosses my path. And I'd get some kind of enjoyment, some sort of enjoyment, but I don't think it'd be full or complete. Not in the traditional sense, and not in the most important sense. And this is the hard part. For 20 years, I've had some sort of relationship with you. Most committed I've ever been is to you. In the end, as crazy as it sounds, you know who represented you in your purest form. And it's something I'd like to feel again. Purity. The pure want and desire of someone else and the full knowledge that that person fully wants and desires you. It's a great feeling. So, until I can experience that again, until I know full, well, wholeheartedly that this person is the right one, until I can feel it, until there's some sort of connection, you and I, our relationship is going to have to change to where I have knowledge of you, and you have knowledge of me, but we're not going to have knowledge of each other simultaneously. We've had some good times, you and I. 
And I don't begrudge him or disrespect you in any way by blaming you for any of my problems or for my current mind frame. But you see, I've been doing the same thing for roughly 20 years. It's time I woke up and realized I got to do things differently. So, we've had our good times. Let's, uh, let's try to work together and be productive. And when the time's right, we'll get reacquainted. I appreciate your time and your attention to this. I hope all is well with you. And I uh, hope to see you soon. This time, let's make it meaningful, memorable. Thanks.